welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Last Wednesday, you spoke of two places of judgment, one for Christians and one for those that believe but choose not to live accordingly. Can you give me places of scripture so I may expand my reading and my notes? Thank you. Hey, you're very welcome. So when we talk about judgment, let's talk about what the Bible speaks of the two main judgments. In the book of Revelation chapter 20, it's called the great white throne judgment. Why? Because there in verse 11 of chapter 20, it says, I saw him who was on a great white throne. And then I saw all the dead, small and great, stand before him. The books were open, the book of works and the book of life. And it says that all were judged according to the book of works. They were cast into the lake of fire. That is the final judgment for those who not only uh, were there out of that great tribulational time period, etc., but for those who had died many years before, they were raised. It said the sea gave up the dead, death gave up their dead. That is the judgment for non-believers to a place that in that chapter is called the lake of fire, kind of hell with a different spin or a twist on it, verbally speaking. Now, let's talk about believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. We I'm using obviously myself in this equation. We are not judged in Revelation chapter 20. We've already been raised to be with the Lord. We already have a new body. In fact, we almost have the picture that we're behind him at that judgment. But 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 10 through 15 says that we must all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And it talks about this time period where you and I as believers will stand before the Lord and that which we've done with our relationship with him, that it will be judged by fire. It wood, hay, stubble, gold, silver, precious stones. And it's a time where that which remains is rewarded and that which does not is discarded. And so what we know is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5 talks about this judgment seat of Christ. And Romans chapter 14, verse 10, this judgment seat of Christ. Again, I think at the end of the day, every believer in the Lord Jesus Christ is going to stand before the Savior himself. And that which we've done after we were saved will determine the rewards, for lack of better terms, that are available to us. Here's what's important. It's not a destination of eternity judgment. It's a reward-based judgment, which, by the way, when you get to Revelation chapter 4, verses 10 and 11, says that those around the throne room of God, they placed their crowns at the feet of Jesus. I want to conclude with a very important aspect of this, quote, judgment for believers. It is not so that we can gain for all of eternity to strut around the streets of gold showing everybody how faithful we were to Jesus on earth. No, much different than that. It is an opportunity to not only show the one who saved us what we did with the life he has now given us, but take all the, quote, rewards he give us and give them back to him. Because if it were not for him, we would never have them in the first place. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. Net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.